Hi guys, so today I will share with you some of the few places that I visited in Rome uh, recently this month and I hope you enjoy this video so let's get started and if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get a video every week so I started off flying to Rome and um, by the way I usually do drawing videos um, and DIY projects and I started doing these videos as well as I travel just to share with you my experience and what I saw as well because sometimes when you're traveling it's kind of good to know what to do so from the airport the FCO airport we took the train to Rome so this is the train that we had to take and it takes right to Rome so it's very easy you buy the ticket right at the terminal and uh, you just get on the train and you uh, go all the way to Rome one stop so you can't really miss it and it's really convenient a nice train and a nice view as well as you can see you go through fields you go through uh, areas where bu buildings are so you can get a real taste of uh, what uh, Italy looks like in this area anyways and then when we went to Rome uh, you will realize that there are so many places that you can get water from because they are outside as you saw uh, these, wa these water fountains or whatever you call it uh, gives you fresh water and you can dr actually drink from it as well and this is a garden uh, that we went through and these are some of the areas right after coming from the airport we checked into the hotel and we took a stroll um, down the paths it's really nice so we just went for a walk um, uh, towards Coliseum actually and uh, came across all these buildings uh, old monuments and um, churches and there was a wedding going on as well which was really nice and uh, this is some of the areas we visited you can actually take a tour down to through the tunnels as well in here it's really nice and pretty and everywhere you see you see the old buildings the architecture the stro streets the cobblestone everything and they have used a lot of marble back in the day and you see all these uh, pieces of uh, history lying here that used to be parts of the buildings I guess and along the way to the Coliseum actually and you see the whole Rome um, the old city Rome uh, while you walk as well which is really nice so we ended up in Coliseum finally it's a beautiful scenery um, and it's it's a building that you cannot miss it's huge it's um, as in the pictures and the video that you're seeing right now um, it's a majestic place and the history that goes along with it as well is um, something to think about when you go in there and how they felt all the people the people who fought people who were watching and all these things comes to mind as well and you can buy tickets from right outside uh, before 5.30 actually because it closes at 5.30 if you wait in the line for us luckily when we waited in the line the line was moving fast but I was told it can get really long as well and the time that we went which is October is not that bad as well because it wasn't as hot as the summer and um, the line was not that bad so once you're inside you can actually see how uh, it looks like and um, how the tunnels looks underneath as well it's there's a lot of people there so it's really hard to get to the um, the edge sometimes but um, when you wait a little bit you can always get to it and you can actually view the scenery um, as I said even though it's busy it's not as busy where you know you can't move kind of um, and it's nice weather as well during that time anyways so as you can see you um, see all the places where all these warriors used to uh, go through and how the you can actually get a sense of how the 
battlefield look like when you go inside and you can get a um, tour a guided tour as well and the ticket for this I believe was about 18 euros so it's not that bad if especially if you're coming from North America um, it's not uh, bad I guess um, it's a little more the currency like the euro but um, it's manageable and this is right outside Coliseum from the other side and uh, it you can get a really nice view from there as well of the whole Coliseum um, and during sunset as well and at night as well it looks really really nice they put lights up um, inside so it brightens up it's uh, it can be seen from um, far far away so it's really nice and this is the street from the Coliseum you can stroll along all the way to the other side and you can see how the city was developed and how it looked like you can actually buy a ticket if you buy the ticket for Coliseum uh, it is also included where you can go to uh, the area here that I'm showing um, underneath there and also there's a huge garden um, with all the historical monuments that you can walk along in and we also went to the Trevi fountain and I did toss a coin and made a wish uh, because everybody else does as well and people say the wishes come true when you uh, toss a coin there so and then there's a church right across the street from uh, Trevi fountain we went there as well it's really nice and you can get gelato you can uh, there are so many restaurants we ate from a restaurant which was really nice the food is amazing as you have already know it's Italy anyways so um, and then we went back to the hotel on that day and uh, this is the next day for the view from the hotel as well and it's just a neighborhood so just to get a feel of how the buildings look like and how people live um, and these tiny cars are very nice it fits everywhere people park nicely on the streets it's a nice scenery and um, I don't know when you go from North America to there you get a nice feeling and it's a uh, it's a very friendly country the food is amazing people are nice everything is so nice and this is actually Vatican City uh, this is uh, St. Peter's Basilica, a beautiful, beautiful place and inside as well the church is so beautiful and uh, there was, uh, we actually saw uh, the Archbishop uh, which was really nice when we were there and we went early in the morning so not, there wasn't a lineup but when we were about to come out there was a long, long lineup so if you are going go in the morning uh, you don't have to go too early as well 8 or 9 a.m. would be okay you can just go right in and uh, this is how it looks like inside amazing architecture amazing amazing um, drawings um, as you can see I'm looking up because you cannot ignore it it's really beautiful if you get a chance to go and there's these areas where you can uh, go in and uh, talk to the priests as well um, and yeah just walking around looking at everything um, of course being respectful as well because it is a church after all and um, it's a very very beautiful place to be and I feel so lucky to be able to actually go and experience um, and see this uh, drawings and like the structures of these churches because they are something to see and uh, after that even outside uh, you've seen it on TV so many times where the Pope comes out and when a Pope is elected as well all these sceneries and to go there and actually experience is something else it's these places are huge and you actually get a sense of how 
uh, beautiful the whole area is when you're actually in there so i really hope you get to go there as well and if you've been there please leave a comment and let me know uh, what you thought of it and how you feel about italy and vatican city and uh, how did you like your trips as well this is the water body that separates the vatican city area from rome uh, you can just walk along the bridge to the other side as well um, and we went back to um, the coliseum area uh, because we wanted to go down to the city uh, and then experience that as well and go along and stroll around long and see all those uh, historical sites so and it's a really pretty area to be in just walking around and seeing everything is really nice and um, seeing the old city So as you can see when you go to the top uh, you can see the whole city from Coliseum to the other side which was really nice uh, you get a real sense of how it might be might have been all those years ago um, and uh, this is the area that we went to see the whole city it's like uh, on the top it's there's a park like thing and you can go on to the top and see the whole area and the next day we went back to go to the Vatican Museum and you can see the lineup here uh, it's a long long lineup to go to the museums because there's um, the obviously the Michelangelo's drawings in the Sistine Chapel and there are so many things to see inside this museum it's a huge museum uh, there's so much to see here um, I didn't take a lot of videos this is coming out the line I just want to show you the lineup so if you are going go in the morning or buy tickets in advance uh, the fast track ticket so you can bypass the lineup and go directly to the uh, door not directly but the line is shorter that way so this is another area that we went to uh, which was beautiful and when you go to the top you can uh, top of the area where you see that arches at the way uh, at the back um, you can see the whole city from there as well beautiful beautiful area you can just chill there just we sat there near the fountain or the area there and we just sat there for a bit uh, just uh, taking in all the scenery all the architecture all the buildings everything and this is the Spanish steps uh, which is also a church at the top and the fountain at the bottom a beautiful place to be and this is where all the brand name stores are and you can just go and buy your uh, products there as well and stroll around see the whole city uh, beautiful streets again with cobblestones and everything and the buildings are always nice there it was a little crowded there though uh, because there are all the stores there and then near that area I saw these uh, parrots there are actually parrots a lot of them uh, in the gardens and this parrot was just eating a peach uh, it was really nice and from the back of it you see the city again as well uh, new buildings old buildings the whole Rome from this area which was really nice and you can just spend the whole day just watching um, the scenery there it's a beautiful beautiful place I would recommend for anybody to go uh, to the Vatican City the Rome and just to experience Italy and eat food <laughs> like obviously the food is amazing and that is the short trip that we took I hope you enjoy this video and these are some of the pictures that I took I hope you enjoy these as well and some of these pictures 
I will upload to my Redbubble shop. So if you want to buy products with these pictures on, check it out. Um, the link is in the description box below. And I put some next videos for you as well, including the playlist for all my travels. If you're interested within Canada as well, um, you can uh, check it out and some other areas, some other countries as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you want to see next. If you want me to draw something or do something like a DIY project, let me know in the comments below and also let me know what, how you like this video as well. So then I will see you next time. Bye.